Yeah, but then, she, I don't know from where, I got two with the leg, she hit me a back kick. She nailed me to the, wall, to the door of the garage. I could not figure out from where this came. And then, you know, I stopped it immediately, you know. I was really worried because, you know, it was painful, you know. You figured that she could take care of herself. That's though. right. Leah was actually a professional kickboxer before she finished high school. She turned pro after winning the Canadian Championship when she was only 15. And today, she says that she enjoys the heavy physical work of her father's plant when she's not training. Leah handles herself well, either in the shop or in the ring. But her mother's main worry is not whether she wins or loses, but that she doesn't get hurt. Yes, I do. I do worry about her, and but I want to give her the support. I want to be there to give her the moral support, her, and I do worry. But I think that yeah, I hope she will not hurt. Doesn't matter if she will lose, but only not hurt. You're not the least bit frightened. No, if I was frightened, then I wouldn't be doing it. Because uh, why, why waste your energy worrying about something? What you're trying to do is knock your opponent unconscious. Well, that's, yeah, that's the object of the sport. And yet you don't seem to be a particularly violent person? No, I don't consider myself a violent person. I've never gotten to fighting on the streets or anything. I consider it strictly as a sport, and um, a sport that takes a lot of concentration. I know it's just in me to, to compete, to train, and, and winning, of course. It's, it's an ultimate high. Leah works out for at least three hours a day. It's this kind of training that's responsible for her having won all six of her professional fights. Her stamina now is truly incredible. Yet in spite of her demanding schedule, she tries to keep the rest of her life as normal as possible. But once Leah puts on the gloves, on both hands and feet, She's all business.